normally wouldn't start a morning vlog with an intro, but I do have one really quick thing that I want to say, and that is if you remember from my morning or my November reset vlog, I talked about how my goal for the month was to create a really energizing and relaxing morning routine. It took me a little longer than I thought it would, but I have finally created an amazing morning routine that I absolutely love. I follow these steps pretty much every single morning. And that's what this video is really, to just kind of show you step by step everything that I do from the moment I open my eyes till the moment that I go downstairs to my home office and start work for the day, because I do work a full-time job from home. So that's kind of just the little spiel I wanted to give. I hope you enjoy. Let's start the morning routine. I swear lighting a candle makes the whole bathroom feel more spa-like and luxurious. And it just smells so good. Cue ASMR, get ready with me. I can see. Gotta pat it dry. Now this first aid beauty repair cream with sunscreen honestly isn't my favorite. I don't know what it is about them adding the sunscreen in that definitely makes the formula not as like super, I don't know, I don't like it as much, but it's not bad and I do like that it has sunscreen and I have two bottles so I kind of want to use them. She has her cozy bed over there. She likes the big bad way. As soon as Tim gets up, she's up here. You don't want to go get breakfast? Wake up time. <laughs> she's like, what the heck? Come on, girl. We're going to go get breakfast. Go potty outside. She's having none of it. Come on, girl. Let's go get breakfast. You can go back to bed as soon as you go potty and eat your breakfast, OK? Big stretch. Let's go downstairs. Notice I'm leaving my phone there. We don't need it. I guess it's pretty bright already, but I'm still putting her lighted collar on. You can see the sun is starting to rise over there. Good girl, Cal. I have to say being able to just step outside and one, let Callie out without having to like walk her on a leash, but also just this like fresh air of being surrounded by trees. I absolutely love it. I'm so grateful for this. You can see from the rainstorm we had the other day, we still have a little pond over there. There's one back there too. Callie has surprisingly not swam in them though. <gasps> you want breakfast? So Callie gets her normal kibble, but I also have been putting well, I'll tell you about here. <laughs> and then I also add what she loves, a scoop. It's pumpkin puree with some peas and carrots mixed in. Looks so appetizing, right? Sit. Stay. Okay, go. Good job. Oh, look at this little note that Tim left. I love getting little notes like that. That makes my day. But now we have to light the candle. This is like the most important part of my morning. You can hear Callie chewing. Isn't this beautiful? I love having fresh flowers and a lit candle in the morning. I always keep my journal and my book right here so that that way when I come down, we're gonna read this in just a moment, but we're gonna brew coffee first. One of my favorite little hacks for your coffee is after you put the grounds in, add some ground cinnamon. If you like the taste of cinnamon, this makes it so good. Now we wait. 
This is one of my favorite times of the morning when I'm just like sitting here at the island. Actually, I'm gonna take my robe off. I have my candle going. I can hear and smell the coffee brewing. Um, and then I'm gonna sit down here and do a little bit of journaling and read a page of the Daily Stoic. Some mornings I will have like a mini breakfast. Like I, I love those Belvita bars while I do this. Not every morning. And today is January 13th. But I just love ever since I started doing my reading and my journaling at the island instead of on the couch, I feel like it just, I don't know, I enjoy it a lot more. Coffee's really busy over there. <laughs> I really like today's passage. It was titled Circle of Control and it essentially talked all about how the only, coffee's ready. <laughs> it talked about how the only thing you really have to control or that you can really control is your mind and your choices. Like there's one line, you've got one thing to manage, your choices, your will, your mind. So mind it. If you haven't read The Daily Stoic, I highly recommend it. It's just got a passage for every single day of the year. So as you can see, that took me like a few minutes to read, but I got some reading in. And now I'm gonna take a few minutes to journal. I got this journal from TJ Maxx. It's like blank pages. Some mornings I'll do affirmations and some mornings I'll literally just journal about how I'm feeling that day. Got another sip of water and then we'll get coffee. Remember this mug? I, I feel like this was like my go-to mug back in like 2018 when I was filming videos. It says coming in hot. This mug just makes me feel good about myself. And I have started drinking my coffee black, but I will add like a little splash of water just to kind of help cool it down a little bit. I like how she comes in here and just kind of waits for me. Now this part of my morning routine is kind of just to chill. I feel like ever since I started going to the gym in the evenings, um, I kind of just want more of a slower morning. I like how Callie blends in with the blanket. Some mornings I will literally just sit here for the next like 45 minutes and watch YouTube videos or an episode of a Netflix show and really give myself time to like, just relax. I think that's really important in a morning routine that sometimes you do need to let yourself take it slow. Like you don't have to have this go, go, go morning routine every single day. But for the most part, edit a YouTube video or edit TikTok. This morning I'm going to be working on the outline that I have to send to a brand about like a sponsored video, which I'm super excited about. I think I may watch one YouTube video first and then work on that. Time for breakfast. Bless you. Bless you. You did a big sneeze. Good job. I wish somebody told me that I did a good job every time I did something simple like sneeze. You did a good job. Gotta stretch again. Here go. I am cold again, so I am putting my robe back on. Breakfast time. I just realized my little note was gone and it fell on the ground. We can't have that. All right, now let's make some pancakes. But before I eat, I gotta take my vitamins. In the morning, I take a probiotic and a vitamin B12. Definitely talk to your doctor for, you know, to figure out what you should take, but these are the ones that I take in the morning. I have been actually back on my Kodiak cake kick. These are so good. I personally just eyeball it. Now while that's cooking, I'm gonna race it and try and empty the dishwasher as quickly as I can. Gotta do a quick flip. Oh, that looks beautiful. All done! Another little change for my previous routine. I've stopped eating my breakfast on the couch. That was like my, the only place I ever used to eat it. But now the way the island, I'm like, why don't I just eat here? This is so much nicer. I feel like it's better to eat sitting somewhere like this. I do still like to watch a show while I eat. That's the same. I've been obsessed with Undercover Boss lately. Like I want to start a company and become the CEO just so that I can do Undercover Boss. <laughs> I love the end when like they just do these amazing thing for these people and it just, it brings tears to my eyes almost every single time. I'm currently watching season nine. Now 
Now that it's light out, we can actually open the curtains. I always feel so like a princess when I do that. <laughs> a typical workday outfit for me is leggings, a little sweater on a work from home day, which is every day for me. All dressed. <laughs> Obviously for work meetings, nobody's gonna be seeing below my waist, so the leggings and the socks are fine, but I love this sweater. I think this is so pretty. TJ Maxx, let's go do my makeup. Now, honestly, I have actually been doing makeup a lot more than I ever used to, well, for a couple of reasons. One, I just really enjoy it. It's like self-care to me. Um, two, I find that it actually motivates me to do my skincare in the evening because I like don't wanna go to sleep with makeup on my face and it's so satisfying to like take it all off. And also I've tried been like way more consistent with TikTok and not that it matters, but I feel like I feel more um, motivated and excited to grab my phone and film something if I'm a little put together. I've been loving the little half up, half down with this little clip. And then a must for me every day is earrings. I don't know why, but they make me feel so put together. I got these off of Amazon the other day and I think they're so freaking cute. This is annoying me. So there's two more things that I do in my morning routine every single day. The first we'll do right here. And then the second we're gonna have to go downstairs for before we start work. Although I do wanna film a quick intro to this morning routine, which you obviously I'm sure already saw, but I'm gonna do that first. I typically when start a morning vlog with an intro, but I do one really quick thing I wanna say. And that is So that's kind of just a little trailer I wanted to get. I hope you enjoy. Let's start the morning routine. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna be doing, and I guess I can just grab it on my phone. You're probably like, Kat, why are you getting back on your bed? Why is it so dark? got in the habit of doing it every morning before I start work and that is a guided meditation and the location honestly changes up I'm not always on my bed sometimes I'll be downstairs on the floor one of my favorite creators for guided meditations on YouTube specifically is Lavender and she actually just released a new one a five minute morning meditation for abundance I'm happy you made the choice to meditate today deep breaths I feel so relaxed now our last part of our morning routine let's go Do you want to go play ball? Do you want to go play ball outside? Yeah, you want to go play ball? Go, go, go. You ready? You ready? You ready? Go get it. She's not really in the mood to play ball today. Well, clearly she doesn't want to play ball right now. <laughs> that definitely happens sometimes where Callie is just not in the mood to play ball. I don't know, but she definitely likes her walk. So we're going for a quick walk instead. I think it's like, she doesn't feel like sprinting, but she likes all the sense from going for a walk. By quick, I literally mean like a 10 minute walk, nothing crazy. We'll do like our longer walk later today, but I do like her to have at least a little bit more exercise before I actually start work. All right, it's just about nine. So we're about to go really start work, but first, I'm just reheating up my coffee because I still have a little bit in there. I feel like I only drink like half my coffee first thing in the morning and then half once I start work. Got our warmed up coffee, some more water, and Callie, her favorite time of day is going into the office. As you can see, she's just like, all right, can we go in yet? Hi, girl. That's Callie's spot. <laughs> is that your spot while mommy works? Gotta light the candle, very important. Also, I do love that photo, but I'm aware that it does not fit the wall by any means. Um, it's literally just there temporarily. Also, a little hack, if you work at a desk job and you're trying to figure out how to get enough water, you could do this on a post-it note, you don't need a little whiteboard, but I have this little whiteboard and it says water and then how many water glasses, uh, or how many, like what water bottle or water glass I should be on by that time. So like by 9 a.m. I should have had one of these, by 11 a.m. I should have two, by 2 p.m. I should have three, by 5 p.m. I should have four, and by 8 p.m. I should have had my fifth one. And for reference, this is like 26 ounces. If you watched until this part, comment a sun emoji so that I know. And let me know if you want more morning vlogs. I also am gonna be doing way more morning vlogs on my TikTok. I feel like those are a lot of fun to make. And my next YouTube video, which I'm very excited about, is gonna be how to become your happiest and healthiest self, like for real. And we get a little bit deep. 
or we're gonna be getting a little deep in that video to be honest i'm kind of nervous to film it but i have a lot that i want to talk about just like where my mind's been lately and, and how i'm kind of like getting myself in the best physical and mental health state that i feel like i've been in in a while i mean by no means am i there yet but i'm in the process and i can like start i'm already starting to see those changes and i'm so grateful and with that i'm gonna leave you because i need to get to work i love you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video or i have a ton of other videos if you haven't watched them and you want to watch those i'm rambling now okay bye love you <laughs>